What's going on, the friends? My name is M. Eight, and welcome to my brand new Let's Play of Pokemon Sword and Shield for the Nintendo Switch. This game came out on November 15th, 2019, so, you know, about a few months after I am recording this video, and I have anticipated LPing this game uh, since it came out. And uh, now the opportunity is finally here, and so here I am doing uh, Sword and Shield. And I have been playing through this game. I'm, I am like, you know, as I'm recording this, I'm only halfway through the game. Uh, so I will be playing through the game uh, on my on, on a practice file. Um, as the LP progresses, so that I can make this not not as blind. Uh, so uh, here I here we are playing uh, Sword and Shield. I'm playing through Pokemon Sword um, because that's the game that I have. And um, there are differences between Sword and Shield, uh, but most of the, uh, but I, will, I will primarily be showing off content exclusively to, so to Pokemon Sword, uh, but I will point out things that are different between Sword and Shield. Uh, so, because this is semi-blind, I don't exactly, I'm not like, well, like, I don't have like, full 100% information of this game, as of right now. Um, so this is, will probably be the First, well, I mean, unless you count, let's go with Pikachu and Eevee, but I was already familiar with how, with the with the plot of that game anyway. Uh, so this is so I'm, this is the first Pokemon LP where I have very little knowledge about uh, the game prior to uh, LP uh, prior to LPing the game, uh, which is crazy. Because um, mo most of my most of my RPG LPs have been very informative, and I, I still want to keep that formula uh, with, with LPs uh, for the, for this game. Uh, so we'll, we'll 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 try our best here. Uh, so this game is so this game introduces a new generation of Pokemon game, which is the gener the eighth generation, and we are in the Galar region. Uh, and. Uh, you know, I'm stalling out the first episode right now, so let's just get right into right right into things here. Um, so here's our mom rushing off in that state. Someone didn't Hop say say you should bring her bag? I last saw in your room. Don't forget to to grab a hat for the leather. That's true. We want to get the hat. Here's our hat right here. Oh wait, oh that's our bed. Okay. Here's our here's our bag. And, um, it just looks like any, like, purse. And then also our hat right there. Um, and, uh, now we have a menu that we can open up. So, this is our menu. And I guess I can show all this off here, because this is, because all this is new. Uh, first off, you can check the map. Which, this is what the map looks like for the entire Gala region. And we'll be exploring all these places. It's pretty, cr it's pretty cool and crazy. It's gonna be a long way ahead of us because we'll be going through all this. Um, here's our bag, which um, we have. It's divided into eight different sections here. Uh, you can save your game, and um, which you know, I, I guess we'll do it right now. Oh man, look at that. In an, in an instant like that, too. Um, oh wait. Yeah, we already looked at our map. And then we have our options. So what do we got here? Text speed fast. Uh, da -da -da. Send the boxes. Manual. Okay. Give nicknames. Yes. Gyroscope. Sure. Uh, sure. Autosave. No. Uh, just in case my recording craps up and then... I and then I lose progress and I can't re record. This game runs off of one single save file, so if the game auto saves and something happens with the recording, then I'm completely screwed and that'll be bad. Uh, casual controls. What are casual controls? Easier to play with one hand? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna leave that off for now. Skip movies? No. Uh, 
Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, okay. Um, wow, we got a Switch? Well, I mean, it's only natural. This game's not on the Switch, after all. And, wow, this, 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 uh... Our houses are really high-tech in this game compared to every other Pokemon game. It's pretty cool. Um... Interesting thing about about your mom in this game is that uh, depending on uh, which character you pick, your mom is gonna look just like your what? I did not know you could do that. Okay, wow, uh, that's that's cool. But anyway, depending on which character you pick, your mom looks very identical to the character you pick. Uh, you're gonna notice. Well, I mean, you you are noticing it. Uh, I am playing as the girl character, Gloria, and uh, the boy counterpart is Victor. Um, I am typically known for playing as girl characters in games, so it shouldn't be too much of a surprise that I'm playing as the girl. Um, also, I think the girl is cute in this game, so I'll just be playing as her. And, uh, yeah, that's all I have to, for, to, that's all I got for now, so we're, we're going out. Uh, you move really fast in this game, I'm letting, I'm letting you know. Uh, you automatically get running shoes. Um, if this is your first Pokemon game, then you would not know what I'm talking about, because you move really fast in this game, and it just makes no sense. So, I'm just going to assume that... People have have played Pokemon, or else I'm gonna be talking in the perspective that people have played Pokemon. Even though that probably may not be a good idea, but we'll, we'll see. Um, Victor, on the other hand, his bag uh, looks like the uh, the box bag, like the box backpack that um, Tanjiro wears in uh, Demon Slayer. So I think that's pretty cool. I, I, I guess the, I guess that's where Sword and Shield got the uh, <laughs> the uh, the boys backpack idea from. The the developers they watched Demon Slayer and they knew. <laughs> so this Wulu wants to go to a scary place because it's trying to break open that fence. That's not good. You sure that's been taken care of? I mean, it's still kind of, still kind of wants to go. Let's race. I don't want to race. I don't want to race. Oh, fine. You already started it, so I guess I'll go. One really cool detail with this game is that when you're going up and down the stairs. Um, it kind of gives you that little animation that you are going, well, I mean, you don't notice it when you're going up the stairs, but you do notice it when you're going downstairs. It's really, it, I think it's really cool. Uh, okay, so this is the first place of the Gala region, which is Postwick. This will be our hometown. And it's, uh, I, I skipped Generation 6 and 7, so I don't know anything about Gen 6 and 7, but... Uh, from what I know, this is the biggest hometown I've ever seen. And that's crazy. So we have to go- so we have to race Hop over to his house. Here he is. Well, here's his house. And there's Hop's mom. Mum! Um, so the Gala region... Uh, is a uh, like a reference to uh, the United Kingdom or England uh, so there's a lot of uh, English terms that this game uses such as um, and uh, mum is one of them and there will be there are various other English uh, rep uh, English like slang terms or slang uh, wording that uh, the game uses as further references that the game is uh, based off of the United Kingdom. I have never met the champion in my entire life. 
So you can explore Hop's house if you'd like. Here's his room. And uh, his, his house is stairs, unlike our room, unfortunately. Uh, I guess that's either the maid or his grandparents. Uh, I don't know whose room- I'm, I'm gonna assume this is the champion's room. And then over here is his hop's room. Wow, those are really weird pictures of Charizard, Machamp, and Gengar. If this is your- again, this, if this is your first Pokemon game, you will not know who these guys are at all. And, uh, you got a Purloin, and I assume that's your dad. Wow, you have a dad, and I don't? Wow, that's crazy. Actually, well, you kind of do have a dad. They briefly mention it, but as far as I know, I don't think, like, we'll meet him. But, I mean, if they mention him, then I probably will. I don't know. Let's get a move on! Wall Pokemon can come out of nowhere if you walk through Patch of Tall Grass, and that's not good. Okay, so Hop already has a Pokemon on him. It's a Wooloo. The one of the, the, the sheep that we saw earlier tried to break the fence. I mean, there's like several uh, Wooloo in here. I mean, what, what? Yeah, this is this is like a farm, so it only makes sense that we have a lot of Wooloo here. All right, Route One. They're keeping the they're keeping the tradition back. They're we're starting over the route numbers. That's that's nice, I suppose. Um, so yeah, you don't want to walk through the grass, otherwise it's bad. Well, actually, you can't anyway. They won't let you. And um, yeah, for now, we'll just head on straight forward. Welcome to Wedgehurst, which is the second city. Already, we're already heading to the second city of the game. And look! Bam! It's more, uh, it's more dramatic than the, the fairy tale pose. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. I hope you all carry uh, all, all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. And challenge me to a champion title. Lee, Lee has taught all of these guys? That's crazy. Too true that Charizard is blazing strong. Okay, so Charizard is his main Pokemon. I like- this is- it's kind of weird. Like, okay, so, like I said, I've skipped over Gen 6 and 7, so I don't really know too much about the plot of those. But I think it's so weird that they just reveal the champion just straight up right off the bat like this. Like, I like it a lot better in the older games where Figuring out who the champion is a surprise until the very end when you actually meet up with the champion. I mean, I guess Black and White and Black and White 2 also revealed the champion just right off the bat. Well, I mean, not right off the bat, but they revealed it midway in the game. And I didn't like that either, because that kind of just, like, well, dang. But I don't know. That, that's just me. I just, think, I, I just think that's more fun figuring out who the champion is at the very end. Really? Like, what? What? what's so special about me that Hop talks to you about me? Like, I'm, I'm just, just an ordinary person, you know? People call you the unbeatable Leon, and his nickname is Lee. Lee and Le Lee to Leon. I mean, I, I, I guess. But I, but, I mean, it's not that Leon is that much harder to say compared to Lee. BAM! I, I don't have a camera on, so you can't see me doing the pose either. But I am- but I, I promise you I am doing the pose along with him. They- they run the same way, too. And they run equally as fast. It's like they're, like, twins. Except it's obvious that Hop is the younger brother.
How did you know that the presents are gonna be Pokemon? Yo, it's strange. The champion giving you Pokemon. It's so crazy. 